Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so we are back with our blah, 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 English is hard. We're back with our weekly check-in, um, but today's weekly check-in is going to be a fun one because I decided to just go ahead and do a little mini bill condensing um, just because of the way that our budget is going to play out in May. Um, I won't be able to do a bill condensing, like a legit bill condensing until the very last paycheck, until after the very last paycheck of May. So, and my low priority sinking funds binder especially is just so chunky right now. So, um, I'm just going to do a little mini bill condensing with what we pull today, with what we unstuff to pay back the bank. Um, and then, um, that will kind of like tide us over until when? Until the end of May. Um, also, the reason why I have cash up here, I will explain in a little bit. Um, I don't generally start my updates with cash already in the tray, but we'll get to that as well. So we will just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Yeah, I like this better. Okay, so first and foremost... Um, this expense tracker is available in my shop. I have my shop linked below always. Um, and it's designed to be able to fit into or to be able to utilize in a budget planner sort of way. I still haven't set up officially a budget planner, um, but I definitely need to get on that because it'll just make my life easier if everything's kind of I can just flip the pages and treat it like a budget planner. Anyway, um, it is the month of May, even though some of these transactions are actually from April, but we'll get into that. So um, first up, we will just jump right into the first transaction. So we're tracking actually from the 25th. So this was a debit purchase. And it was on the 25th of April, and it was at none other than my favorite place in the whole wide world, <laughs> Target. And as with, if you're new, as with all of my Target purchases, I actually cross out the category because this is broken down into several different categories. Um, and then I do the breakdown right underneath of it. So the total from this purchase was 117 and 10 cents. And I cross through these things as well because once I do the breakdown, then the balance is more evident. So with this one, it came from the target category for $100. And this does not need to be paid back to the bank because our target, um, money stays in the bank. Uh, it was next up is grocery. And that was for one, $1 and 71 cents. And then it was toiletries. I needed contact solution. I have the worst vision known to man and I wear contacts. So I need a contact solution. And that was for $15.39. So both of these, both the grocery purchase for $1.71 and the toiletry purchase for $15.39 need to be paid back to the bank. So I put an asterisk, asterisk next to it. And this all is just money out, money out, money out. Um, okay. Next up. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Actually, I need you all to just not judge me because... All of, most of these purchases are from Target, but there, there are days in between. And actually, this is a good thing because really the only shopping and spending that we do is for groceries and household products and toiletry products. Target. 
<laughs> there he is. Um, and so really it's the only spinning that we do, but it does look like I live there. I don't, I promise. Just once a week, typically, typically once a week. Um, okay. So the next one is also a target purchase. So it was, <laughs> it was a debit purchase. It was on the 30th and let's go ahead and get into this breakdown. So the total was for 132.08, 132.08. And we will crop, put a line through this because we have another breakdown here. So um, it was our target line item again. So just to offer a little explanation for you guys, Target, if you're new, Target gets its own line item in our budget because some of our grocery shopping, most of our grocery shopping is done at Trader Joe's and that we cash pull for. The rest of our grocery shopping is done at Target because I buy specific items from Target that are just like for my kids' school lunches mostly actually. And we get our coffee from Target as well. So that's why there's like a bunch of different Target purchases even in the same day, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, and so we keep that money in the bank because I have the Target debit card and that gets you 5% off of every purchase. And so we keep that money in the bank, swipe the debit card to get the 5% off. And then I just pay the bank back with any other categories that end up being pulled from that we cash pull for. So that's why this one, the target purchases never need to go back to the bank because we keep the target grocery money in the bank already to just allow for that grocery purchase. Um, okay. So this one was 52.50 and then there was a gifts purchase and actually it technically wasn't gifts. So, well, I guess kind of it was. My mom, when she was in town, gave my kids money to spend on, you know, whatever they wanted or whatever. And so I, we took the kids to Target this day um, and then they used that money. And in the case of my son, he used some of his own money to um, purchase like Pokemon cards that he wanted and my daughter purchased a toy. So um, that's why this money is already in the tray because this is money that my kids gave me to pay me back because I swiped the debit card so that they could get 5% off their purchase, um, which here in the state of Texas basically just cancels out and not even enough, but it cancels out the tax. Um, and so this money is from my kids. That's why it's already in the tray because I don't have to pull it out of my envelopes. So that ended up totaling $74. And then, let's see, and then there was a household purchase. Well, there were two of them, but the total was for $5.58. So again, Target does not need to be paid back to the bank, but the gifts purchase does, because it's right here, and the household purchase, I'll have to pull that from the household envelope. Then, Let's see, that same day was a debit purchase, also on the 30th, also from Target, but it was actually at the Starbucks in the store because I buy, I make my own cold brew coffee and I buy the beans from them and I have them grind them for me to the specification that you need. Cold brew needs like a coarser, thicker grind. And so I just pop over to the Starbucks buy my coffee from them, have them grind the beans because it's cheaper for me to make it than it is for me to make or to buy cold brew coffee. So, <laughs> you didn't ask, I told you anyway. So the total for that one was $19.62. And it actually, we broke it down into two different categories here. So we did um, grocery and Target. So whatever, money, again, this is for those of you who are new, whatever money we go over the $100 that we allot on a weekly basis for Target groceries, then we just pull the rest of it from grocery. Because um, I always have grocery rollover from my Trader Joe's purchases, and then we just roll that money over into whatever overage we have from Target. So that broke down to $14.49 from grocery and 
and 13 cents from Target. So this one does not need to be paid back to the bank, but the grocery purchase does. And I think that was it from Target for this week. And then um, that same day was a cash purchase. Um, actually, no, I lied. It wasn't the same day. It was on the 1st and it was at Trader Joe's. and came from grocery. Um, oh, you know what? I need to check my receipt. Okay, it was 267, oops, 267.48. And actually that leaves a balance of 145 in our grocery envelope because this just was rounded up to 270. I always steal the dollar bills that I get as change and then I put the coins in, you know, the coin jar. So that left 145 in in rollover in grocery. And then um, on the second, it was a debit purchase, even though I cash pull for it. And um, I'll just do, I'll just say lash lift. <laughs> and then I actually have that as a category. I finally got my lash lift this week. Love go doing that, by the way. <laughs> and it was $81.25, including the tip. Um, yeah, that's it. So now that we are, you know, oh, and I do have to pay that back. So now that we're all tracked on here, I'll zoom you guys back out. We'll pull the cash out first. And then we'll use whatever we have in the tray to kind of condense down some of the bills in the envelopes. So let's get started. All right, so we're just gonna use this as a guide. What I'm gonna do first is add up all of the money that I have to pull out here and then make sure that once we actually do all of the cash unstuffing that that's what we end up with in the tray. So, um, for those of you who are new, I always round up to the next dollar and then that change, we just kind of save in a virtual coin jar in our bank account. And my husband tracks all of that to the cent every single time. You do not have to be that meticulous. I mean, I prefer being that meticulous because that money adds up and then sometimes we'll just kind of sweep it over into other categories and actually be able to use it and spend it. But it can also add up if you're trying to build up your buffer, it can add up that way. Um, so there are lots of different things that you can use that change for, which is why we track it to the cent. Also, we're just really big budget nerds, so it just works out that way. But anyway, so I will be rounding up to the next dollar and that's what I will be taking back to the bank. So the grocery will be $2. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm zeroed out here. So $2 plus... Um, toiletries, so it's going to be 16 from toiletries plus the 74 that I have here from the gifts for the kids um, plus $6 from household, um, 15 from grocery, and then 82 from my lash lift. So we will end up with a total of 195 here. We've already got the 74 from gifts, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a check mark next to this one. Um, but then we'll pull, whoops, my goodness. We'll pull the other categories here. What did I say? 195. I'll just leave that up there so that I don't forget. So 195. So first up, uh, since grocery is first up, I'm just going to go ahead and add up all the grocery purchases. So we've got $2. No, is that it? $2 and $15. No way. For real, for real? Yeah, because that's... Oh, look at that. Okay, so what did I say? <laughs> that quickly, I forgot. Two and 15. So 17 bucks. Let's pop into high priority. Groceries. And I have a 20. So I will just take the $3 back. One, two, three. I may scroll those ones, we'll see. So now left in grocery, we have 50, 125, 26, 27, 28. So 
128 in groceries left. Oopsies. So let me go ahead and put a check mark next to both of those. So let's see, the $2 and the $15. Okay, so next up is gonna be toiletries. That's also in high priority. Let me just make sure they're, it's not, okay, that's the only one. So it's gonna be $16. Oh wait, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just, I had a brain fart there. Um, so we're gonna pull $16 from toiletries. I know we've got change in here. 10, 15, 16. 10, 15, 16. So now left in toiletries, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $14 left in toiletries, and I will go ahead, put a check mark next to it, and also the new balance. I shouldn't have put the balance here because it's changed now, but we'll sort it out. Anyway, um, let's go down, down, down. Next up is household. That's also in my high priority sinking funds. And wait, what did I say? I'm pulling $6 from that. So household. There we go. $6. So now in household, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, five and six. And for those of you who are new, I update my cash trackers that are in each envelope off camera because if I did that all the time, it would just be craziness. Oh, that quickly, I forgot what's left in household. Hold on. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that's it from high priority and we did that one. So, and then we have, we already have the $74 sitting there. And so then we just need to go into lash lift, which is in low priority. And you can see how thick this binder is. So it definitely needs a little bit of a condensing. So lash lift, I need to pull 82. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, one and two. Well, that cleared that cleared a good chunk of that out anyway. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, one and two. Um, and there is a little bit of cash left over in here just because the way that it works out in order for me to have enough for each appointment, I need to make sure that I'm stuffing 14 per, but it's like 13 and some change. So we just round up and then, you know, use the overage to our advantage eventually. So left in lash lift, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will condense that one down. But first, I just want to make sure that we have all our money here that we need. So... Oh, what did I say? I think I said $8 left in lash lift and we did that one. So let's go ahead and give this account, make sure that we have, shoot. What was it, 195? We'll figure it out. I'll give it a count and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we are taking 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 195. I'm pretty sure that's what it said, or that's what I was supposed to be returning anyway, but I will go ahead and just confirm that really quickly by adding up my numbers again on my expense tracker here. <clears throat> so... Yep, 195. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, let's just pop into all of our binders really quickly and just see what we can kind of condense down here. Um, groceries, I'm just gonna leave alone. Um, taxes, we can't do anything with that one. 
I really just want to make sure that it's our like our smaller ones that we can do some stuff with. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I can't do anything. And I don't want to do anything with these ones anyway because as you can see, I do use the smaller denominations to pay these back. So I don't really want to eliminate them, but maybe I can. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So actually what I think I'll do is keep the four and trade this in for 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. All right. Just make it a little bit easier. Not that this binder is particularly stuffed up, but we will be adding to it. So, um, close. 10, 25, 30. I'll go ahead and trade this in for 20. And then I think finance, yeah, that's that one's done. What's HOA at? Oh, I can turn that into 20. Although I do need to be careful with my 20s because. I want to make sure that I have enough. I may come back and change my mind on that one. We'll see. All right, let's move on to low priority sinking funds. First, I'm going to get a sip. <laughs> you know what else? I can move my expense tracker. Let's go ahead and see what we can condense in here. Work meals. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, haircuts, let's see, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. Um, because I want to, I might rethink that the 20s, but I will trade five ones in for a five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just to even every little bit helps when you've got like a chunky envelope or chunky binder that you're going to keep adding to, adding cash to. So even that slimmed that out on that out a little bit. This just has 15 in it. Oh, maybe dates could be 1, 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80, 1 and 2, right? Yeah, 182. Um, I will just go ahead and do this. Oh, I'll do it again. Just in case I still need that 20. So 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1 and 2. Yeah. It's not much, but it's something. His, oh boy. Okay, here we go. So... One, I don't know why I just threw that down. 150, 70, 90, 200, oh my goodness, 10, 20, 30, 45, 50, 5, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, let's go ahead and we'll definitely pick up a 10. Oh, another one. And one, two, three, four, five. All right. Like I said, not much, but enough. So he should have 267 in here. So one, 50, 70, 90, two, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67. Okay, good. Yeah, this is for sure just a mini condensing. Here we go, 50, 70, 90, 5, 100, right? 50, 70, 90, 5, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh my gosh, seriously? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and trade these in for a 10. And 1, 2, I should have just kept that 5. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. We got there in the end. So let me just make sure I have 109 still, 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And actually, this one will get pulled from because I did buy something for myself, but it just doesn't hit the account yet. So <laughs> pretty hair can definitely be condensed. Holy cow. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 25. 26, 27, 28, 20, whoops, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That's insane. Okay. Let me see. So I might, I might just trade this all in. So 5, 10, 15, 25, what did I say? 40? Actually, I'll do... Well, yeah, I'll do a 20 and two tens because this one's really 5, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yeah, that just needs to go back. Okay. That's crazy. That's probably a good use of the last 20 that we have here. Okay, and then the lash lift, what did I say was left in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And we'll just grab this five. All right. Already <laughs> so much thinner. All right, family fun. See, miscellaneous has nine. What I have left in YouTube. Five. It's not really even worth it. I'll just keep it. House project is as condensed as it gonna, it's gonna get. Okay. You know what? That actually made that made a difference right there. And then I'll pop over here, even though I don't think there's really anything I can do. Yeah, I mean, I would need 20s. Valentine's Day, Easter, vacation we're not taking to the bank yet. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, maybe I could put some tens in here. Is it worth it? Not really. Zoo, the $1 challenge. Okay, nope, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna um, make you guys suffer through watching me count this again. It should be $1.95, but in very, very, very small denominations. And we're going to bring out the calculator. Not that I need it, but, well, I mean, okay, I need it. But just so that I don't get mixed up with denominations. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. Oh, you know what? I messed that up. <laughs> because I need to just count each individual denomination. Oh my gosh. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 10. So 110 and fives and then that's a lot of ones okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 55, 195. So we did it. Wonderful. <laughs> Love that for us. Okay. That is going to do it for today's weekly check-in. 
mini cash condensing, mini bill condensing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And then I will see you guys in the next one. I'll see you on Monday for another cash stuffing. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.